Hello again, this is a Chapter 7 video. Uh, we're going to be looking at internal and external consideration of the online shop. This is the version with JUnit. We're also going to be looking at JUnit for regression testing for, the, for this particular project, and we're also going to be looking at pre-setting up objects um, using JUnit. So here's uh, one that I've already created. Um, I've got the, the sales item class and the comment class. And the best way to see what this actually does is just to go ahead and create it. So that, as I say, I've got this already created. Let's have a look at what this produces then. So if I do a show info, you'll see that there's a computer, which is um, an item which has been um, created. And there's a number of comments about this computer, which is at a thousand pounds. So first comment by Jim, which has got a rating of one star. And his comment is all machine. Um, at this point, no one has voted his comment as helpful or not. Then Brian, he has got a rating of five stars for the particular computer. Uh, his comment is it's an amazing machine and no one at this point has voted for whether his comment is useful or helpful at this point. So that's what the application does. Provides comments on specific sales items like you would get on Amazon or other companies which provide comments on specific items which happen to be a lot of companies and sales companies now. So let's have a look at how that works. Uh, let's create a comment type uh, just to demonstrate how that works. We've got an author, so I'm going to use say Chris. Uh, I'm going to have text as this is a good product and then you give a rating of four. So we can downvote, we can upvote. So this is if you have a positive then this is uh, the amount of upvotes people have given you and negative the amount of downvotes that people have given you so the higher that number the more your comment was appreciated you think some getters there get author um, get rating and get vote count and you also get full details so let's have a look at these those are full details of my particular comment uh, we get author and bits and pieces. So let's go and have a look at the comment class to see how that works. It's a fairly straightforward method for storing comments or fairly straightforward class for storing comments. You have four fields, author, text, rating and votes. Construct is fairly self-explanatory with the upvotes and the downvotes simply adding one or minusing one to the votes field. The votes field will start at zero as shown in the constructor. Getters for authors, ratings and vote count. And then the final method does some clever things in it is the get full details. So we've effectively we create a details string here uh, and concatenate it with a series of strings. This bit here with the substring is pretty clever. What the substring does, if you have a look in the substring class, which you'll know is in the string class because it's called directly from a string here, and then we do an extra method called to substring. The substring will effectively re return the um, the string, the substring of the string which is provided between the indexes of here and here. So if someone gives a rating of three, then the the substring is going to be zero to the index of three, which will be three stars effectively shown there. So that's how that little uh, substring method works. So that's a clever little thing there to show how many stars are required for that particular comment. Uh, the concatenation of author and text is fairly straightforward. The only other thing which is a bit more complicated here is the details plus equals and then some bits and pieces there. What that will do is, is that is effectively concatenation of itself. So what it will do is um, it will have the original details string, which will turn out to be that. What this bit here is like writing is details equals details plus and then the rest of that. So that's a shortcut way of writing that. Just a shortcut way of concatenation. So that's the comments class. Let's have a look at the sales item class. Sales item class is, remember, stores for one particular item. So it gives the name and the price of that item and then an array list of type comments of comments. 
fairly straightforward, sets up the name and price and uh, assigns the new array list. Uh, we've then got some getters here which are fairly straightforward, get name, get price and get number of comments where it returns the comments dot size, so it returns the size of the, um, returns the amount of comments which have been put into the comments array list. We then got an add comment method where you can add a comment. Now there's a few things which you need to be aware of when adding a comment. So uh, it will return true if if it's successful as shown there. Um, the comment will be rejected if the same author has already left a comment or the rating is invalid. Valid ratings between one and five. So the first thing it does is checks whether the rating is valid by using the rating invalid method. So the rating invalid method, let's go and have a look at that one, rating invalid, which is here. Now this is a shortcut way of returning a boolean value, so it returns a boolean of true or false as whether the uh, rating is correct or not. So I'm just going to create by magic. So again, this is a, just I've paused and restarted the video there whilst adding in a, the, the longhand version of what this is returning. So again, what we're doing here is we're creating a boolean value of rect value um, and then rating less than zero, if it, as long as it's less than zero, or rating greater than five, uh, then that's an acceptable value. So that's the, uh, let me just return that to how it looked previously. The next part of this add comment method will make sure that the comment or make sure the author hasn't already left a comment. So what it will do is it will use the find comment by author uh, and then take the author as a parameter to that. So as long as that is equal to null, so if that's not equal to null, then return false so that they cannot add another comment. So let's just have a look at that find comment by author. Is a fine comment buffer. What it does is it goes through all of the comments um, in a quick for each loop, and if if that comment dot get author dot equals author, then it will return that comment. So it'll return the comment uh, which has that author. If there is no return, it'll return null, and so and that's how. Uh, uh, if if it's not equal to null, null, then return false. Finally, if both of those things are okay, uh, then I'll just go in and add in the new comment. Comments.add using the add method, and um, then creating a new comment uh, with the parameters as specified by the method itself. We've got a method here for removing comments, where the method, if the index is greater or equal to zero and the index is less than comments.size, so a little bit of error checking to make sure the index is within the right parameters. If that's okay, then we'll re remove the specified index. We upvote, uh, the upvote is done using the index, so if we want to upvote a certain comment, then we provide the index. Um, again, some error checking to make sure that the uh, particular comment exists and um, the index for that comment exists um, so we do comments um, dot get index that will return a type comment and with our type comment we can call the external method upvote downvote is exactly the same just the, the downvert version print info is fairly straightforward a series of string outputs um, the method here which is being called is the price string method so we'll have a quick look at that with the with the given price price string method simply rather than having 100,000 that will return 1000 pounds so it just converts pounds into or dollars and cents uh, one single number into dollars and cents it'll give uh, users a for each uh, loop to do out output all of the comments uh, which are provided for that particular article, so that's the show info, and so that will show the info of the particular item as well as all the comments associated with it. The only method we haven't covered then is the find most helpful comment. So this is uses uses an iterator class and an iterator object to iterate and determine which is the most useful comment or most helpful comment. So the, the way it does this is it creates our iterator object. It then 
creates a temporary or local variable called best of type comments and it gets the first uh, it gets the first element in the iterator list there and has that as the best so it just assumes that index 0 is the best comment what it does then is it then uh, creates another local variable called current it then compares the current dot get vote count to the best the best dot get vote count so effectively it looks at the first one of index 0 and then it look at the second one at index 1 if the index 0 has got the biggest vote count then fine it uh, it just leaves it as it is if it then goes to the next one it will then check the index 0 against the index 2 if the 2 then becomes the best one then that becomes the uh, the best vote uh, then it'll now check the index at number 3 uh, the element in, um, index 3 and if that one is a better vote count than index 2 then uh, that will make that one best so it's a clever little mechanism there to go through and check the vote count for all of the comments in the list so that's pretty much everything there that's all the methods considered for that particular sales item class So uh, that's the end of this video. In a later video, we're going to look at the JUnet regression testing and the pre-setting up of objects. I was going to do it in this video, but it's taking a little bit longer than I hoped, so I want to keep these videos nice and short. So you'll see that in a later video. See you then.